Georgia Power. Now I seen where they um they starting a new stock market. I don't really hear nobody talking about it, so I figure I'd go ahead and say something, speak on it before it's too late and we left behind again. So here we go. Check out this clip. It sounds like a really big deal, in part because of the people who are getting together to do this. So these are big banks, as you said, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, Charles Schwab, who, of course, has been you know in the brokerage business for quite a long time, very revolutionary, but also some names maybe less well-known to the public, but certainly well-known to people on Wall Street. Citadel, Virtu especially. So these are you know highly automated, big market makers. Well, and you said the magic word, at least in my way of thinking, automated. Yes. Because in a day gone by, you had to have a physical exchange of people right. down there and specialists and people yelling at each other. Now. now, you don't need all that. It's a totally different world. But what's notable about this, and you certainly will appreciate this, is in this era of big publicly traded exchanges where the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, they are publicly traded concerns in their own right. This will be owned by the members. That's actually going back to the old days when the members owned the stock exchange. And so having these people with their own sort of skin in the game, being the owners, I mean, could be a, a, a real new and different thing here. Well, at the very least, it sounds like it can compete down on price. Yes. I mean, what does that do to the, the, the value of an ICE or something like that that owns all these exchanges? Well, it's certainly, they have to be looking at this very closely. The other really interesting thing, and this plays into, you know, your whole show here is this idea of what is Washington demanding? Yeah. What is Europe demanding in terms of transparency? We live in an era of dark pools, and is this a way for them to essentially do a little bit of good work on their own part to say to the regulators, we're going to be a little more transparent about well, this. I wonder about exactly that dark pools, which I've read about uh, through the years. Is this really just taking a black, dark pool and saying it's not going to be dark anymore? We're essentially going to make it really big. Anybody can participate. It's a really big and open a lot, pool. And a lot lighter. Yeah. And I a mean, lot lighter, exactly. Is what, you know, I was talking to Guy Johnson earlier, our colleague Guy Johnson over in London, and that was his take on it, especially because this has been a big issue, not just in the U.S., but in Europe as well. And so do you see the biggest players almost self-regulating a little bit, sort of getting uh, out ahead of this? And, and let's be honest, to your point, probably making a little more money in the process. Well, and speculate with me for a minute. Is the SEC going to like this? Because, as you say, they've been a little skeptical of these dark pools. We don't know what's going on in there. They're, they're going to be able to know now. If they make the case that there is more transparency to the market, you have to think regulators should smile on that. One would imagine we'll see the devil's in the details, as with everything. But also, I go back to this idea that these aren't just the big banks who are doing this. This is a lot of different uh, market participants, you know, people who deal with everyday retail investors as well. I think it'll, it'll be fascinating to watch.